Hey guys, it's me, a little Sir Fetched, and welcome back to the Pokemon White 2 Randomized Farfetch'd Run, where we last left off. We were doing this stupid puzzle, and we almost got trapped here, and I almost lost, because I decided I would go look for some items. So I went back and got some revives, and I also found out that since I beat the 8th gym, we've got full restores now, so we don't need hyper potions. You know, I just, like, completely neglected the fact that, you know, beating the 8th gym means you got access to the best stuff. Oh no, not Synchronoise. Don't know what that move does. So yeah, we got basically the best stuff now. And we're just gonna get through this. I don't know how, dang it. What the heck? What? What's that? I just wanted this item. A max Ether. Nice. This will teleport me here. Okay, another barrier was deactivated. I just like walked on that and all of a sudden I was just gone. I was like, what the heck? But it's fine. Grookadile, my favorite Gen 5 Pokemon. I love Grookadile. He's pretty cool. I mean, how can you not like this Pokemon? The only thing I hate about him is that he has the worst shiny in the entire game. Yeah, I said it. Grookadile sucks in terms of having shiny. They turn his amazing black and red combination into a disgusting brown and, like, tanish yellow. And that's disgusting. So, I don't like it. Come on, it seems like it's really loud here. Okay, we're gonna open the barrier here now. Oh, no, that just teleports us over there. Well, so I'm trapped. So that's scary. No, go back, go back, go back. Okay, is there a barrier up here? Yaw. Yep, there's one right here. We have to get to that one now. Excuse me, kind sir, fight me. You know, when I started doing this last time, I wasn't expecting that this is what we had to do, and I guess I don't know why. I didn't know we had to use buttons to deactivate the barriers, I thought we just had to deactivate the barriers by, like, a passcode or something. Well, we already did the passcodes, I don't know why I was thinking we had to do another one. Also, I just keep on forgetting how the heck to get through this entire game. How to get through this route, I just keep on forgetting how to do that, and I just messed up. This thing can't attack me, so I'm just gonna stay out. And also Sword Stance, so I can make sure I kill it. The Destiny Bonds here, I have to... yep. Gotta just Sword Stance, because I can't kill it. That's why I hate Wobbuffet. He's a cool Pokemon, he's got a cool design, but, like, it's only useful with its special gimmick. It can only... it can't attack anyone unless it's attacked, and that makes it really susceptible for, to damage. Because, like, you can't do anything unless you get hit. Which is dumb, I hate that Pokemon. In terms of using him, like, in any competitive sort of way or whatever. I hate him. I need to activate something here. Is that a doctor? Could I have used that guy as a doctor? I think that's a doctor. Uh-oh, wait a minute. I didn't get to heal my Farfetch. She's gonna die. Victoria, no! Well, she's gonna die. 
It's okay, be strong. Be strong. No. <gasps> you were strong. You lived. You did it. Let's get out of here. Let's go. Let's get out of here. I need to heal you next time. Look at the way you're happy, Azumarill. It's in English. Azumarill. He's always smiley. Oh, shoot. He's gonna punch me. Ow. Okay, that did absolutely nothing. I thought that would do at least a little more. But that did, like, heck all. Oh, yeah, I never used to... I never liked this thing. I never used it in any series. Granted, I just really don't like that many Gen 5 Pokemon. Talked about it in the last episode, but I only have, like, three favorites. They're not bad, it's just they're kind of boring, and there's also too much of them. Like, I don't understand why there had to be 156. Like... This game did not need to live up to Kanto and have, like, the most amount of Pokemon. In one generation. But, it did. It did that. And that's probably why they've been making less than 100 Pokemon ever since. Hello! Doctor. What's your name? Uh, Sailor uh, something Nino. Oh, it's Rose Raid. I use that in my diamond playthrough. And now I'm gonna kill it. Die. Goodbye. I'm sorry, it's not my fault. He made me do it. There we go. I knew he'd heal me. Because if he didn't, I would have to take drastic measures. Okay, so where are we going next to get through this? Do we go up here? Okay, that's where the items were, right? Yeah. So, if we go here, we should be able to connect that. And if I go here... Oh, shoot, I'm just stuck. Uh-oh. What do I do? How do I get through here? Because I have to... Okay, hold on. I'm trying to figure this out. This is confusing. This whole puzzle is so confusing. I don't know what I'm doing. Hello, Landon. <gasps> no, you can't. You can't steal one of my all-time favorite Pokemon. Now I have to defeat you. It's not my fault. It's your fault for stealing one of the best Pokemon. Oh, he punched me. Now, see, that's what Superpower should have done. That should have done way... Superpower should have done way more. I have no idea why it didn't do any more. And goodbye, Primeape. You're dead. Now let's see if I can't figure out the rest of this darn puzzle. Is it here? There we go. Okay, now we just have to get out of here. Doing that is something difficult. <gasps> Wait, no it's not. I figured it out. Oh, I'm such a genius. Oh, yeah. No, I'm not. I'm stuck. I'm not a genius. Don't listen to me. <laughs> How do I get out of here? Wait, there we go. I'm a genius. I'm not a genius. 
What am I doing? Okay. Okay. Okay, there we go. I'm a genius! I did it! And now we can proceed to Kirim. The device is indestructible. You will never be able to release Kirim. You don't have the sense to know when to quit, it seems. It's an act of mercy on my part to bring this to an end now. Oh! He's gonna kill us. He's gonna kill us. I, I saw L, and I thought it said Landorus, because I, like, looked away as soon as I saw the letter L, and I was like, no, he's got a Landorus? The genies have been on my mind because I've been playing Pokemon Go, and that's, like, the Pokemon that have been in raids. So, that just being like that, I thought he was sending out Landorus, I was like, oh, no. But it's just trash. I mean Leafeon. Oh, he's got even more trash. I mean Stantler. Dang it, Stantler, stop showing me up. Ha! Just kidding. Uh, goodbye. We're almost level 70, and we're almost... I think we're probably almost through here. We've got probably just the fusion of Kiram and Reshiram, probably, and then we're done, I think. Then we can move on to the League. Although we need one more episode to, like, waste around so then episode 16 can be the Elite Four. So episode 16 can be Victory Road and episode 17 can be the League. I need to, like, waste one more episode. If it will let us, maybe we can go to White Forest. Because I know we have to go there. We'll, like, take a little trip to White Forest in the next episode, if it will let us. Because I tried going there in between episodes for some reason. And it, the, it was just blocked off by the guys that were like, We're standing here for no reason, and one day we'll leave for no reason. So... I think it might be until the League's defeated. I have no clue. But we'll see. Is it the same for anyone as long as you are dreaming? The dream will never reveal itself to you. Beaten again? No matter. Team Plasma will get the last laugh. Oh, really? Or I think I'm going to get the last laugh. Except for I don't laugh unless I feel like it. Or unless I see something really funny, but you're not really doing anything funny. This is actually pretty disheartening. How many of these? I have four max revives? That's going to be really helpful for the League. Hurrah! Hurrah! So you intend to continue step on the other warp panel. Keep in mind that you're going to get beaten up if you do. Okay. I'll keep that in mind. Is... Colrus here. So I think Colrus is here. Yes, he is. Welcome. I was asked by an acquaintance to help with his research. What I desire to bring out... What I desire is to bring out the entirety of Pokemon potential. I can... If I can accomplish that, I don't care what it takes. If it means this strength must be brought out by the intentions between Pokemon and trainers, then so be it. If it means you have to use a merciless approach like Team Plasmus and force out all the Pokemon's power, then so be it. And yes, the entire world is destroyed as a result, then so be it. That aside, the reason I have been traveling all over Unova and battling many Pokemon trainers is because I was testing the viability of... The viability of this approach to bringing out the full strength of Pokemon. In that, in that respect, you've done an amazing job. Well now, tell me if you have the answer I desire or not. If you're ready, come at me. I'm ready, man! Let's fight! Looks like you are ready. Then let us begin. Oh, I love this theme. This is an amazing theme. Mm -hmm. 
he's got six Pokemon. Oh no. Ooh, we might lose. Dun 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 I have no idea what to do. This is gonna kill me. What do I do? Are you kidding me? I'm gonna lose. Okay, Victoria, you have to live like two attacks. Because I need to get Swords Dance. Okay, please live one. Well, please live two. I know you'll live one. Okay, I think you'll live two. Unless it's a crit. Oh, no. If he has, like, a team like this... If he has more Steel types, I'm, like, screwed. Man, I can't wait to do the flying type Nuzlocke, because then at least we might get a fire and flying type sometime, and then we'll be able to deal with steel types. Because this is just getting to be a point where, like, it's difficult to deal with steel types. Especially if they're fully evolved, and also electric types, too. No, go back to the good music. I like Chorus's theme. Don't take that away from me. Ah. He's gonna kill me. Okay, let's do this. Kill. Yes! Okay. Claydo, I can deal with that. I got Night Slash. Oh no, it's flying. What? Why does that matter? It's a ground and... Okay. I'm so confused why it has an air balloon. Maybe, like, the original Pokemon's like a Metagross or something? Hold on. Chorus. Dang it, I was hoping to find the Cerebi page for it. Ooh, it's a legendary. Chorus. Cerebi. I need to look up the original Pokemon. Black 2 and White 2. Team Plasma. Okay. Thank you for not being helpful. Okay, he's got... A Cling Clang is what it is. That has the air balloon. Okay. I was almost right about him having a Metagross. He's got a Matang. Is this two Pokemon left? Ooh. Wait, what? He's supposed to only have five Pokemon. Why does he have six? Wait a second. Did the setting finally work? Because I swear I remember setting it to every important trainer has six Pokemon. Did it finally work? I think it finally worked. So this is what it means to draw forth the power hidden in your Pokemon. So strong. You're a very strong trainer indeed. So let me ask you this. Are you even thinking of reaching even higher heights by understanding each other as Pokemon and trainer? I see. To me, that is an ideal path answer. To think that's what you actually believe. To bring out the power of your Pokemon with respect and love. Excuse me for repeating myself, but it will make my Pokemon if it will make my Pokemon stronger, I don't care what it takes. If interacting with Pokemon can increase their powers only to a certain point, then their full strength must be brought out using a scientific approach. Even one without a consequence. But you have shown me the potential of your approach. To me, whether Team Plasma wins or whether you win will decide how the relationship between people and Pokemon should be. So where will this be settled? 
step on the war panel on the other side of the room where Kiram is being held. Good luck in your battle. Aw, oh, Chorus had a change of heart. No, he didn't, because he still does not care. But I don't care if he doesn't care, because I am moving on. I know we have to fight Getsis. I have not seen Getsis in this game yet. I know we have to fight White Kiram. Not Black Kiram, because that's a different game. So let's move on. Hopefully, dealing with this. What? You beat Chorus? Uh, I pretended to be strong, but I don't have any Pokemon. Okay, goodbye. There's Getsis! That's blasted Chorus. The fool is far too committed to pure science. This is how he repays me for making him the boss of Team Plasma. How dare he put his personal intellectual curiosity before our ultimate mission of conquering Yanova. How fortunate for you. If you get to be the sole audience member for one of my speeches. Team Plasma will use its knowledge and technology to take Kyrum's true power to its absolute limit and freeze the Yanova region. The terrified people on Pokemon will bow at Team Plasma's no, at my feet. Kyrum is an empty being. The remnants of a certain Pokemon when it's split into Reshiram and Zekrom. My desire is absolute rule of Unova. That's right. Kirim will be the vessel into which my desires will be poured. Where gets this? Kirim has been transferred. It's finally here. The wonderful era of which I am the absolute ruler of Unova has finally arrived. I'll let you take care of this. You! Wait! You're one of the Shadow Triad, right? Tell me about the Pearl line that was stolen in Aspersia. Very well. This might be it. Growl. I stole this Pokemon five years ago in Aspersia, so it seems likely that this is the Pokemon you're talking about. But now, it only listens to my commands. Such is the fate of Pokemon. They are trapped in Pokeballs. What? Don't mess with me! That's someone else's Pokemon! Ah, I feel sorry for Pokemon. They're ruled by Pokeballs and the whims of their trainers. Lord Getz has spoke of the of Pokemon Liberation two years ago, simply for his own ambitions, but his plans had succeeded. Many Pokemon would have been saved. This Lipert, well, you knew it as a Purloin. If it had been released, it might have returned to you. Well then. You there, I won't let you interfere with Lord Getz's plans. It's... it's random Shadow Triad. You're a challenge by Chief Mark. It's got a cloister. I'll defeat you, Mark. We're gonna have a battle, and I'm gonna win. Oh, shoot. Should've just gone for Swords Dance. If you want me to go for Swords Dance, then fine. You asked for it. Don't tell me off for going for Swords Dance. Whoops. Hi, Dragon! Shoot. This is gonna do absolutely nothing. Because Air Slash is not physical. Oh no, his attack. Oh gosh, I have to kill him or he's gonna kill me. Oh no! Oh shoot, please kill. Please kill. Ha! Ah! Yes! He flinched! Uh, goodbye! Look at that! 4200 experience! And finally, Thrapion! Still gonna do absolutely nothing if I do Night Slash, so just Air Slash to kill it. Goodbye! And I win! A critical hit, too! Wow! Doesn't bother us a bit if the Stone Pokemon cry or beg. That's kind of cold hearted. You're not done yet. Wait, what? What am I doing? I guess I'm fighting random this guy. I have no problem with you, but this is for Lord's Gexus. 
Uh-oh. Not Chief Mark again. Are they all named Chief Mark? I think they're all named Chief Mark. <laughs> because I think they're supposed to be meant to be like the same t kind of trainer. I mean, that works. They'll never get confused about... They'll never have to worry about names. They just got Mark. They'll never have to know... They'll never have to choose names. They'll always know. Mark. Granted, it'll be confusing on which mark they're talking about, but still. That's a whole other problem that we'll have to deal with another day. Well, it's the fish. It's the fish! Oh no, what does Safeguard do? I have no idea. I don't feel like looking it up. But I'm gonna do it anyway. Hold on. Safe guard. Pokemon. Safe guard prevents a Pokemon from being made drowsy by yawn, but it will not prevent it from falling asleep due to its effect if it is already drowsy. Okay. Even if I lose, Lorcates is simply has to win. Lorcates will not win because I. Um, I, I don't actually know what my character's name is. Am I Fetch? Yes, I'm Fetch. We swore to be loyal to Lord Getsis since he saved us. Oh yeah, Mark? Oh, really? They're just all named Mark. I'm guessing that means they're supposed to be like, they have like the same name originally, probably. Or, like, the randomizer is classifying them as the same trainer. Because never before has it give... I don't think it's ever given them the same name before, has it? Have we... Okay, I don't even think we fought these guys before, so I could be wrong. Ha! Huh, air slash to the wind. I love this move. What's the final Pokemon? It's Parasect! Oh, you're gonna lose. Ooh, that's gonna leave a mark. That was very unintentional, but I just realized what I said there. Oh my gosh, no. That has to be the name of this episode now. Doesn't bother a bit if we have to use other Pokemon. Listen well. The only thing we want is the, the only thing we want is the world Lord gets his desires. No matter. The only thing you can do is watch Lord gets his use Kiram to freeze up a solid. That's all. You. I'll return this Pokemon to you. Considering what Lord gets is about to do, I have no further need of it. Hey, fetch. If we let Team Plasma do whatever they want, there'll be more sad Pokemon like Perlin and Kiram. Okay, I'm gonna go stop him. I'll be right back. I was healed up. Okay. That is loud beeping, and I don't like it. I guess I go this way. Wee! Oh, dang it, gotta go this way. Oh my gosh, why did you have to make that so complicated? Come on, really? Why do we have to do this? Wait, is there something over there? Nope, can't even go there. Let's move on, I guess. Goodbye. Is there an item over here first? I want to see if there's items. Let me get my max repels out. Where are they? Oh yeah, I have a safari ball. I think they're supposed to be like master balls when not in the safari zone. Where is... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I know where they are. They're in the free space. That's why I wouldn't have to go searching for them. Ah, oh, dang it. Can't even go there. 
stupid game. Um, is it in here? It's in here, all right. Ooh, I, I'm scared. I'm scared. Okay, that was pointless. Oh, I think we are getting close. Oh, no. Should we leave it on a cliffhanger? I feel like such a jerk for doing this, but... <sighs> that is it for today's episode. <laughs> In the next episode, we're gonna encounter... Kiram. I'm sorry, I left this on a cliffhanger. Don't sue me. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the finale of Team Plasma's efforts.